Guess what today is? If your guess was another Fabric Mart video, you are correct. It is black and it has like lavender dust colored sequins on it. I think the sparkle is fantastic and as soon as I saw this, my first thought was this. House of Sky and Breath is the second book in the Crescent City series by Sarah J Mass. And let me read you a dress description. The sparkling black dress hugged every luscious curve before loosening around the knee, spilling into a train of solid night. The plunging neckline stopped below her breasts, framing the star between them, drawing the eye to the remarkable scar. Black gloves flowed up her elbows, and her satin-clad fingers toyed with one of the diamond chandelier earrings sparkling against the column of her neck. She'd left her hair down. Okay, that's like character description. So we're talking a plunging neckline, a mermaid skirt, and lots of sparkles. That was the first thing I thought of when I saw that fabric. So maybe I should go. If I had known from the start, this wouldn't have ended with broken hearts. Cause I don't wanna waste my time. My biggest problem with this pattern is that the cup size was too small. So I am going to be making that adjustment. I think I'm gonna test it with adding two inches and then we'll go from there. Then don't pretend that everything's okay. And don't string me along the way you do. So I got the mock-up done. I will throw up a picture of how it fits on the dress form. I tried it on me really quick and it was beautiful. So the two inches that I added were perfect. And I could use the pattern instead of taking apart the mock-up. We're taking apart the mock-up. No. I don't wanna waste my I hear him. Um, can't do anything about that. We share a wall. This bodice needs a lining because it it's a two-way stretch fabric so it has more stretch one way than the other but if I line it with alternating grain then the bodice isn't going to have copious amounts of stretch, right? So I had the option of lining the bodice with black or with my nude mesh. I took a picture, I sent it to a bunch of friends, and I got like a unanimous do black. Um, what this will do is make the body part of it will still be slightly nude, um, but it'll be dark enough that the deep V description that we have in the book will be a little bit more prominent. I need to figure out how to sew these together. So the back of the mesh is soft enough that I don't think it's going to irritate my skin. So when I made the lining, I made sure that the sequin part was going to be on the inside so I'd have the soft mesh right against my skin. Which is going to give it kind of a little bit more dimension on the bodice, which I'm kind of excited about. I'm actually really excited about it. But what I need to do is trim down these seam lines and probably find a way to press these open without burning the mesh which is gonna be annoying, but it's gonna be what it is. But before, like, I just, I don't know my order of operations. And this gets further complicated because I need to sew in the boning channels before I sew in the bust cups, but I'd like the boning channels to go through all of the layers on the bodice, not just one layer, but once I do that, then I won't be able to effectively, like, it's just, The technicality of this was not expected. I figured it out and it's gonna require a lot of hand sewing on the inside of the cups, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Look at how beautiful that is.
Good morning. I got a little bit excited last night and might have forgotten to film. Realistically, it's not that much work, but it is a decent amount. I got the bodice mostly put together. Um, I got the cups put in. I got the lining on one. I think I still need to finish the stitching. Yeah, I need to finish stitching this one down. Um, I did baste a zipper in so I could do a quick try on. I will throw the picture up. Um, I am pulling like four inches out of the center back to get it to fit right, so I will need to make that adjustment. But other than that, it's looking really good. <laughs> I've been warned about you They said that just one look And I'd get caught too Cause there's something about you And you know it too All I do is think about you Your eyes, your scent, your touch is all I dream of. Now I can't live without you. I hope you feel it too. So I got the skirt cut and the sequin layer put together. Let me show you. This looks so good. Um, I still need to sew the lining together. But I'm, I'm obsessed with it. I absolutely love it. This entire project has been so much fun and like I've just been so engrossed in it that I've been forgetting to film. Pros and cons, I guess. I don't think I set realistic expectations for my day, but I also don't think they were highly unrealistic either. <laughs> um. This mess of fabric that I cannot untangle at this current moment is the dress. It's the skirt, the lining's in. Um, I put it on my dress form to try to gauge like where the um, darts needed to be, so I took a couple pictures. Um, absolutely love the way the front of this dress looks. I don't know how I feel about the um, gore in the back. I think typically I would prefer those to be at the waist, but because this is a mermaid fit, anyway, I need to try it on and walk in it, but first I need to get the skirt attached to the bodice. Sewing 10 darts into a knit fabric, zero out of 10, would not recommend. So when I got the skirt attached, I like ins and the zipper in. I like instantly put it on because that's what you do when you're excited about a new dress. Um, and then I realized that the front of the dress is short. So I've been trying to figure out how to navigate that. Um, I do have enough material that I can recut the front panel, um, and I think that's what's going to end up happening. My friends have convinced me to do a full cosplay, so I already have the red wig. You guys have seen that in multiple photo shoots. I have black gloves coming. I have ears coming because this character is half elf, half fae. She's half fae. I used to think the world of you, but somewhere down the line. We changed and we grew and we fell out of touch as time goes by. Still, I'm holding on. 
So yesterday I made the hair comb. I'm very happy with it. Um, I think it'll be like perfect. It'll do what I want. The other accessory thing that I need to figure out are the ears because they are a good like base match but I wanted to give it like wanted to blend it give it a little bit more shading I've got like three brown pigments in here but I think I need like a little bit of pink in some places they look so good I mean they look really red right now but when they're on my ear see they look better on I still can't decide if I put too much red on them, but like the edge of my ear is really red, so I guess we'll see. Today is the day. We're going to finish this Bryce dress. It's gonna be great. <laughs> All I really want to do today is sew and listen to my book. So we're either gonna get really awesome montage footage or nothing at all. I'm not promising anything. I don't know you anymore measuring for our countertop downstairs so that's why there's beeping but I, I need to film this update so I can keep working <laughs> so I'm on my tiptoes and the sequin fabric is like just brushing the floor so this means I should be able to wear heels with this dress which was the goal um, I do think that the slit is a little bit higher not the end of the world it's still a comfortable height I feel like it's still like looks good I also took some fabric out of the gore in the back and I feel like it looks cleaner so I'm very happy with that overall I'm very happy with this look I think it's exactly what I want it to be um, if I wanted to match the book description a little bit more I would take it in more because right now it's like more of a pencil skirt fit I don't know I'll think on that um, there's a little bit of hand finishing stuff that like needs to get done, but it's like photo shoot ready. I am almost tempted to just completely take out the zipper, take another inch out of the bodice, and put corset lacing in the back. I don't know how I would do that effectively, so I probably won't do it but I'm tempted to because then it would give me a completely different fit. You're sitting there on my chair I'm staring at you You don't even notice Okay, so I've decided to replace the zipper because the one I had in originally wasn't very long. Like, I could get it on and off, but it wasn't comfortable and I'd rather not be in a mood where I just need to be out of the dress and then not be careful taking the dress off. So let's talk for a minute, shall we? I decided that to get a more accurate look for the book description, 
I should taper the skirt to make it more of like a slim fit than like a pencil fit. But then it didn't really fit across the hips. That's because I need to take an inch out of the hip, but I can't do that while the skirt is currently sewn to the bodice. So when I was like, I just need a hem and I'm done. I was until I decided to make the skirt more fitted. I'm not gonna film fixing this skirt because it's just a repeat of footage at this point. I'll give you an update when it's done. Okay, so I managed to get the dress done. It wasn't as annoying as I thought it would be. Anyway, I did the photo shoot last night and I'm super happy with the photos. So I thought I would show them to you guys right now. This dress is absolutely stunning. I remember reading like that part in the book and just being like, you know what, this dress is such a power dress, but like bringing it to life and realizing just like how classy and elegant it is, it's just, I don't know. I am at a loss for words. This is probably my favorite out of all of the evening gowns I've made. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the truth. So, that is all I have for you guys today. I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends. So I wanna be a character in a high fantasy novel, and I want my wardrobe to reflect that. Um, I finished the stays. That's my tailor's mark. So I think the only thing that I actually managed to do yesterday was dysregulate my brain